got Brewster out here. It's raining. He needs to go on a trip or something. He needs to go back a few days early. I never recommend this. If, you, if you're boarding, doing a board and train with your dog, do the full board and train, listen to the dog trainer. But what we're trying to do today is we're trying to evict a problem, and that's grabbing chicken bones and stuff on the street. So if you see this, this is a chicken bone. And we've already worked with him a few times on this and walked him by it. And that's what we do. We walk the dog directly by it, but we don't let the dog get it. And if the dog tries to get it, we correct the dog. So it looks something like this. Watch how I work Brewster around the chicken wing and tell him not to take it. Remember, chicken wings, cooked chicken, is detrimental to your dog. It can really screw your dog up. Raw chicken, raw chicken bones, are healthy for your dog. But cooked chicken bones and cooked bones of any kind splinter. So watch how we try and evict this problem with Brewster. There's the chicken wing right there, right? And we do have Brewster on an e-collar. It's set at about 20, which is not that high. Humans feel it at about 15. If he does grab it, I'll hit the e-collar. But I don't think he's going to grab it. We've already done one session working with him doing this. So he walked the dog by the chicken, chicken wing and give him a correction, maybe a little leash flexing. Leash flexing is an up and down motion real quick. Resetting the dog's mind, telling the dog, don't do this. He's excited to see it, but we can't, we had to send a message to the dog, do not ever grab anything off the street. This is a safety issue. Make sure and do this with your dog. If you're having problems with your dog doing this, it's not gonna get better by not working with your dog. So we walk him by it, no! Say no, when you look at it, you don't let him get it. You can walk him by it, walk him over it, go! Here, go! Come on, bro! Come on, buddy! Come on, bro! No! Good boy, that's a good boy! He legs to the wall, we'll tell him he's a good boy. Heel. Go! No, here. Here, good boy. No, heel. Come on, buddy. Here. Come on, girl. No, leave it. Notice how he's looking at it, but he's not looking at it. He's stopping. He's stopping. He's starting to get, but I don't want him to get this. See how he circles it, but he moved to the wrong? Heel, come on. Go, buddy. Rooster, heel. Come on, buddy, heel. Here. No. He could grab it if he wanted to. Heel. Come on, buddy. Heel. Heel. Here. Go, here. Come on, buddy, look at the wall. Here. No, heel. Heel. Go. No. First or heel? Come on, buddy, heel. Here, no, heel. Heel. First or sit. This is usually done over about a week, but because he needs to go on this trip, 
We're gonna try and rush it and just trying to influence the dog best we can not to do this. We've already influenced the dog, telling the dog not to grab pieces of paper, not to sniff. We're hoping that I can, you know, I'm hoping that I can instill in the dog, do not ever grab chicken bones. But like I said, this is usually done over about, you know, five or six days, but we don't have that time. So we're just doing the best we can. By the way, it's pouring. It's, it's pouring. Rain is not a reason not to train your dog. Rooster, sit. Heel. Remember, work your dog in the rain. It's very important. Make your dog compliant in the rain. They don't want to sit. They don't want to do down. If you work your dog in the rain, they're more compliant when it's dry out. Take your dog out and work it.